Hi everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Markdown and how to import Markdown documents into Flare projects. So Markdown is, a, uh, is something that a lot of companies use. They might have people outside of their documentation group, subject matter experts or uh, software developers, and they're writing these Markdown documents, which is a plain formatting syntax. To, syntax. It's basically just text files. Uh, and the Flare author wants to take those Markdown documents, bring them into the Flare project without having to do a bunch of copying and pasting and reformatting. And so the import wizard lets you do that. Now, Markdown, you'll notice Markdown, you'll recognize it when you see one of these documents open uh, in a text editor. Uh, Common Mark is the most popular flavor of Markdown and Flare supports that entirely. So in this case, uh, you might see for example, some hashtags next to text, and that represents headings, or some asterisks around words, and that might stand for uh, these are things that should be bold or italic. And it goes on and on and on like that. And Flare now recognizes these this markup in these markdown documents and is able to bring them in so that you don't have to do that copying and repasting and, and formatting. So let's go into Flare, and I'll take you through the wizard. So when you import files into Flare, there's usually multiple ways to do it. You can open up the Windows Explorer and just click and drag the files into the Content Explorer and it'll launch the wizard for you. Or you can come up here to the File ribbon or File dropdown, select New Project, and then down here, Markdown Documents. That'll open up the wizard so you can create a brand new uh, project by importing those things. Or you can do what I'm going to do here, come into the project ribbon, select import and markdown documents. This opens up the wizard. And because I had a, I have a project to open already, it automatically selects import into this project. So I could do that, or I could select this up here and say, no, I want to, I want to create a new project and import these and give it a name, select my main output type but I'll just select import into this project. And then I can tell Flare, hey, I just want these to come in at the root in the Content Explorer, or I can click this button and, and select a specific folder where I want these things to be stored. <clears throat> then you come down to the bottom and you select what Markdown documents you want. And Markdown documents have a, um, an MD file extension. That's how you know they're markdown documents. You can select add folder, choose a folder, and all the markdown documents in it will be added, or you can click add file. And in this case, I've got three of them in here. Uh, I navigated here to where I've got markdown documents. I hold, held down my control key, selected two of these, click open, and here they are. Now you can select these and use the arrow buttons to move them up and down, which will affect their placement in the TOC when they are imported. So that's pretty easy over there. Then I can select styles on the left and deal with styles. So up at the top, you've got this associated style sheet field. And that's just in case you have this extra style sheet and you want to leverage the styles in there. You wanna be able to map to those. A lot of people maybe not even, maybe won't use this at all. And so if you're not sure about it, you can just ignore it. Down below is where you map your styles and you may or may not need to do something with that. I'm gonna collapse these so you can see there's four different categories here. There are block styles, which means these are things that take up all the space on a line like headings and paragraphs and stuff like that. Lists, bulleted, numbered list, uh, definition lists. If you're using those, you can um, bring those in. And then inline, which is just character level formatting like hyperlinks and emphasis and so on. I'm going to expand block and show you that, all right, you've got your markdown styles here on the left. And then in the middle, you've got what your what it's going to be once they come into Flare. And usually these are just kind of lined up the way that you want. Heading one goes with H1. Heading two goes with H2. Um, code blocks, They'll, they will become by default code snippets, which is really cool. But you could select a drop down and choose something else if you want. Um, but you might just find that these are set just the way that you want. And the other thing you want to pay attention to is this column on the right, start new topic on. So you got these markdown documents and uh, it could be relatively long. Maybe you want to break that up on the import at certain places so that you have multiple topics, not just one topic that results from that. And most people will do this at the heading level. So H1, heading one is already selected. Um, 
it's going to start a new topic anytime it comes across an H1. Maybe you want to select H2 and, and do it there too. It's up to you. Finally, over on the left, advanced options. So this is, uh, there are a variety of things in here you, you, that you can further specify how you want this, uh, your documents to be imported. So up at the top, create a new style sheet. Well, so when you import, you can tell Flare, hey, I just want a brand new style sheet created as a result of this import and all of these styles that are associated with the markdown, we're going to put them in there. Or you can deselect it and then they'll just kind of be merged into your main uh, project style sheet when you do the import. Now, all of these fields have these little icons next to them. If you're not sure what something's about, just click that. It gives you a little bit more information or you can click the extra icon in here. It'll open up the topic and uh, maybe give you some images and examples, things like that. I do wanna point out the resources section down here because Markdown allows you to link to other files, maybe images. And so you might be importing Markdown file that has that. Well, what you can do is select this and then tell Flare, okay, okay, include these and put them here. You can put them in your resources folder or you can select here and choose a different folder where you want those things to go. But here's the thing, if you are going to do that, you wanna make sure that those files, those images or whatever are located on your personal, your, your locally on your, on your computer, on your machine. Otherwise they're not gonna be brought in as a part of the import. Tables, you might have marked down documents that have some table formatting. So how do you want to bring those in? Do you want to just bring those tables in so that they're just plain? Well, you can just leave leave it at this uh, on this setting, or you can select uh, apply a selected table style sheet because maybe you already have a table style sheet in your project and you just want the that table style sheet to be applied to all of those new tables coming in so they have the look and feel. So it's up to you whether you want to do that. Again, click the icons next to any of these to read more about them. And then you just click finish. And then another dialogue comes up uh, and, you, and you review it and click accept and it brings them in. So it's pretty simple. We'll bring in all those markdown documents, have them formatted just the way that you want. So it saves you a whole bunch of time uh, and work.